You don't know the power of the dark side. Let's get here with a review of the Zalman Resurator 3. This is the Max Dual Ultimate Liquid CPU Cooler. Now, earlier this year, I had built this gaming PC with these components. I'll post the link at the end of this video if you're interested in watching the video that I did on this with the benchmarks on it. However, today we're going to concentrate on the Zalman Resurator 3, the liquid CPU cooler that I used in this gaming PC. Now, uh, what sets this out from the rest, of course, is its housing, the way it's made, the way it works. It's very interesting. It's different. Um, and uh, we're going to look at the details of that. Let's start off with the Okta um, piping, the cooling path that it's using. So the copper heat pipes that are going through the heat sink, um, there's eight paths that it's taking, basically, uh, going through these radial um, heat sinks. Okay, so you can see the... Uh, the nickel plated copper heat pipes there and the inlet and the outlet how it's going the heat sink itself has an inner radiator and an outer radiator which is very interesting so um, double the cooling basically that you're getting through these uh, heat sinks as you can see right there so the heat pipes the copper heat pipes going through those heat sinks again everything is nickel plated right very nice to look at but underneath all that it is copper and one other thing that it has that it sets it apart is the nanofluids that it's applying. So the coolant, it has these nanofluids mixed particles with the liquid in there, which is really uh, new, okay, and uh, really sets it apart to bring some additional cooling than rather just having water, okay. Now, interesting enough, also, when I peeled off the bottom plate there of the uh, water block, it's not smooth. It actually has a microfin copper base. So that is also slightly different than the usual standard. Okay, so again, these little changes do make a difference and that's ultimately why it's called there an ultimate liquid CPU cooler. Let's take a closer look at this bad boy. As you can see there, strong quality and construction. This is not a cheap thing to buy. If you want a serious uh, all-in-one solution, this means business. As you can see, the 120 millimeter fans that it comes with are housed in this plastic um, casing. The pipes are strong, smooth, very well tight and sealed. Uh, the width of that, okay, keep that in mind. You're gonna have to look at the specs, compare it with your case specs to make sure that it fits. Okay, so make sure you match and cross-reference that. Here are the specs that I'm talking about, the length, width, height of the radiator and the water block so you know everything you can pause the screen take a look at it slowly compare it with the uh, specs of your case to make sure that it fits now again here are the 120 millimeter fans lights up nice and blue okay so it does light up with the leds which look really nice i'll show that at the end of the video again here's a reverse look at the heat sink, the radial with the Okta cooling path there, those heat pipes going through the uh, heat sink. The um, fans, of course, are connected through the middle, okay, with a single, okay, so that's pretty nice. The four pin power connector for those two fans, very nice. And um, what else can I tell you? Those fins, as I mentioned earlier, are nickel plated, so even though everything is copper, they are um, colored there for a pleasing. Uh, look inside of your case and this water block is nice heavy quality construction I mean the whole thing to be honest weighs about 1.426 kilograms that's uh, just 3.1 um, pounds okay so it's a heavy it's a heavy uh, uh, kit I'll tell you that much but easy easy to understand just go through the manual so you can uh, figure out exactly how it fits for your uh, Intel or AMD CPU so um, and by the way, that Zalman logo there, it does light up in blue. And I'll show you that again at the end of the video. There's the, uh, the base of that that I talked about that has that micro fins. Uh, we don't want to really touch it, but I'll peel off the uh, protective cover so you can take a look. It looks like it's just smooth, but it's not. It's really interesting. Um, and again, uh, the manual has all the instructions. It is a little bit... Um, more advanced than your standard air cooler, I'll tell you that much, right? Uh, but then again, uh, it might look intimidating, all this packaging, all the stuff that comes with. Just read the manual, follow through to make sure which brackets, which accessories you need to use for your AMD installation or your Intel CPU installation. 
and you'll be fine, okay? But again, the main thing, make sure that you check the manual of your case, whether it's a mid tower or a full tower case, just to make sure that it fits, okay? And compare the specs and the manual instructions. All right, so moving along now to the installation, you can see here that in this uh, Zalman case that I'm using, I've removed the fans to add uh, space. I removed the screws there in the bracket that came on the motherboard for the installation. Make sure that you have enough space to maneuver. I attached the uh, eight pin power connector for the board so that everything is in place and I can just slide the uh, um, Resurator 3 into place and install it. So there it is up and running. As I mentioned earlier, blue LEDs, very nice and pleasing to look at. It is one beautiful gaming PC, uh, works really smooth, really nice cooling, and we're gonna look at those benchmarks with respect to the cooling specifically right now. Now, again, just for those of you that missed the specs earlier, I'm running this overclocked, of course, at 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, I would only want to test this overclocking the system. So there you have it, running it at high voltages on this MSI 990 FXA gaming board with 16 gigs of memory. And of course, uh, we're running that uh, AMD R9 380 graphics card as well. Okay, so um, when I first turned it on and running at average use, you know, almost idle there, you can see that the temperatures are quite low at around 25 um, degrees Celsius, okay, roughly. But really, Opening up the MSI command center, we get a more accurate look here at the system board and the CPU uh, temperatures running it at full load. So in the background, I'm running the CPU on a full load test. And then I opened up the command center here so we can see how uh, the system is, is operating again at 100% full load on the CPU. Okay, so you can see there temperatures 46 degrees Celsius, 114 Fahrenheit. The system temperatures, the CPU fan speed, which is actually pretty pretty quiet. Um, and running the um, core temp, uh, it shows the temperatures are actually 52 degrees Celsius uh, up to 54 max. So again, it's really not going over 55 degrees Celsius, which is really good for an overclocked AMD CPU running at 4.5 gigahertz. So there you have it, uh, the Zalman Resurator 3 using this uh, new technology on the nano fluids, the mixture in there, beautiful looking CPU cooler, big, heavy, strong, gonna last for sure. Like to thank Zalman for providing it, of course. Comment below, let me what you think, and if you're interested in watching the benchmarks on this gaming PC, other types of benchmarks that I did on it. Click on this here right now to watch that. And again, thank you for watching.